Well, one final segment here on the final Tim Miles show of the year. Brian Roth back here with you with the coach Tim Miles Mountain West Conference Tournament. Here we go. It's uh, always one of the best times uh, of the year to get to that conference tournament. Anything can happen. I mean, you're, you're looking out still NC2A tournaments, uh, bids alive for everybody. You guys get the number four seed. You get the number five seed, New Mexico. Your thoughts on seeing the Lobos for a third time? Well, the Lobos are really a good team. They're well coached. They have a lot of talent. When you look at their team with Therese Gary, Drew Gordon, uh, uh, Kendall Williams uh, is playing great. They've got a lot of talent, so they're going to be tough to beat. But I've always said if you want to find out if you're truly better than another team, you need to play them three times. Play them at their place, play them at your place, play them on a neutral court, and you'll find out because someone's going to win two of them yeah. or maybe all three of them. Teams know each other very well. You've scouted uh, each other twice, played each other twice. Now it's another full week virtually to, to scout them again. Do scouting reports change much from game one to game two to game three now? Well, I, I, that's probably the part that concerns me the most. We made about three big adjustments that I thought really helped us. Well, now they've got a chance to prepare for those adjustments. So uh, uh, now we'll have to figure out the adjustments from there. So uh, I expect a really good game. I expect us to have to guard screen and roll with Jerry Scary, a whole bunch of it. We're going to have to guard good post play and a lot of screening action. And they were the first time when they beat us, they got Phil McDonald going. And those games that he's really good, uh, they're really good, so we'll really have to get to McDonald. Yeah, I know McDonald had 27 against you guys in the pit and then uh, went off against BYU at the Marriott Center. You're right. I mean, when he's shooting the basketball, they're, they're a pretty good team. How about Drew Gordon? He had, I believe, what, 15 rebounds against you in the first contest at the pit. I think you held him to just four rebounds in the second game. How do you keep him off the glass? He's got him into turnovers. I think, you know, we doubled him, harassed him, went after him. You have to attack a guy like that. He's got too much talent not to be aggressive to. Yeah. Is the tournament a good thing having it in, in Vegas on the home floor of, of you? And I don't want to get you in trouble here. And not only having it in Vegas uh, because UNLV plays there, but you know, Vegas, your, your team is down there for two days, three days, four days, staying in a casino hotel. Yeah, I don't love staying in the casinos. I don't love staying on the strip. Uh, it's part of the deal, you know. Uh, hopefully your team is focused and just understands this is what we do and we get our routine going and we go from there. And, and certainly we're one of the few big conferences in the country uh, one of the top six, seven conferences in the country in all areas that a home team, there's a home team at a, at a conference tournament. That's too bad, but Vegas also a destination. People like to go there. When it was in Denver, they didn't make money. They make money in Las Vegas, so yeah. there you go. It's going to Vegas. Yeah, no question. Your thoughts on, on the rest of the field, BYU the number one seed. Without Brandon Davies, how big of a loss is that for the Cougars? Well, I think anytime you lose, he was on my ballot for an all-conference player, and so anytime you lose an all-conference player, that hurts you. But I also think it's a little easier to deal with it the longer you go knowing it. So it was harder, the hardest form right away against New Mexico, a little easier against Wyoming, a little bit a little easier against the playing game, and a little, you know. And, and then they'll get to a certain part where they'll reinvent themselves and figure out, okay, this is how we're going to do it. This is who we are. I'm not sure that's going to be them as good as they were. Uh, but I think they'll be better than they were against New Mexico. Yeah. And then on the other side, you have San Diego State, you have UNLV. Obviously, they would have to win their quarterfinal games, which they'll be heavily favored in. But you know, UNLV has played themselves into a lock as a uh, at-large yeah, team. Even talking about and them. nobody's <laughs> yeah. talked about them. I mean, they are a lock now. And then you know, San Diego State. I think they still have something to prove too. Yeah, I think there's some great teams in our league, and and it should be a lot of fun that tournament. And, and uh, yeah, I'd love for our, the four or five games an awesome game. Yeah. It's always a really intense, a great battle, you know, on HD, on CBS College, you know. It'll be a good game. And then those semifinal games are just electric. And uh, um, hopefully we can work our way into that and then even work our way into the big one. Yep, championship game coming up Saturday at 4. And, uh, of course, that's 5 o'clock here Mountain Time. So we'll see you Saturday at 4 then. How about I hope that? so. Thanks. Okay. Hey, Tim, thanks so much. It's been fun doing this all year. We'll all right, do it again you. next you're year. Thank you. You're a great host. You're a, you're a real pro at we this, could, man. We could talk more fashion as we get <laughs> off the air here. But I, I do like the jeans, though. I might have to pick up myself a pair down at the Hard Rock Earnestly Heart. Earnestly sewn, baby. Great. <laughs> all right, for Tim Miles and Kristen Holt and the rest of the folks we've had on the program here throughout the course of the year, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. For Tim Miles, I'm Brian Roth. We'll see you next year here on the Tim Miles Coaches Show. Thanks for joining us on the Tim Miles Show. Tune in next time to more exciting Rams basketball action.